All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna test some armor, and I'm gonna send this into wargaming. So yeah, this is gonna be uh, absolutely fantastic. Had a match just a second ago that kind of just got me a little bit irritated. Uh, literally right after I made the T10 video too. So yeah, that's that's a great way to start of the day. All right, Blade, I will meet you in the middle. Alrighty. Blade's gonna be shooting heat rounds. And my armor, and what I'm going to show you is, is that right here, oh man, what, oh, that's where the mouse is. Okay. As you can see, 420 to 408 coming over, you know, your center mass with the most recent update that Wargaming did with uh, 1 1.4, 1.13. We're going to be going off of 1.6 because this is the armor model that we have for the E50 right now. Now, when you said middle, do you mean the middle at the top up here or the middle of the middle? No, of the middle map? of the map, middle, middle map. Alrighty. Okay, so what I want to see. Is where you're at. Where are you at right now? Uh, I am coming down the main street towards the middle of the map. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Stop. Okay. What I want to do is I'm going to put my gun about right, about right here. No, don't lock. Okay, now the angled armor, from your point of view, a little bit too much of an angle there. I want to say this is the right spot, but it's going to auto-lock on to you, so I don't like that. Okay, there we go. We can lock it right there. A little bit too much of an angle, so we're going to come about right here. A little bit too much. We're going to come about right here. Okay, so at this angle... From where Blade sees us, this should be effective armor of over. Let me double check. 414 millimeters of armor. Okay, fire. Alright, hang on. I gotta. Auto lock was on. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Okay, you that's an AP up, round. Please. I want to. That that's not a... the. That's not the side I want you to shoot, though. I want you to shoot the other side. Okay, well that was a... Yeah. Shoot the other side with the heat round. 416 effective armor. 416 effective armor. Did I just go through that, didn't I? Yeah, you just went through that. Against 340 wow. heat pin. Okay, one more. Okay, now I'm going to get a slight more angle. Tell me whenever I'm almost too much for you. Right there. Almost That's too much? As as... Nope. Keep going. Keep going. You can go a little bit farther. About there? A little bit farther. Well, right we don't want to We don't want to hit the auto ricochet. We don't want to hit the uh, auto okay, bounce. Okay, then go back about two notches. Yeah, right there. Okay, fire. Okay, so from this angle... Hold on, let me take a look here. Okay, we're going to come back over to Tank's GG. So the angle we just had to hit to be able to block a shell. Actually, going to raise the gun up a tad bit, too. We're just going to put the gun all the way up. The angle we had to hit... Blade, I think that's a auto bounce. We're going to come back over a little bit more. Okay, fire. Okay. I mean, you just barely moved that, and it went right through. Yep. One second. Let me uh, get the game included right here. That way your audio's here. Uh, the angle you just penetrated. I mean, that's got to be every bit of 87 degrees. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta try and find a way to multi-click this. Okay, that's where Blade is. This is where I'm at. Okay, let's take a look at the gun. Let's actually line up the hull with with my tank. We're gonna line up the hull with the tank. There we go. From where Blade is to me, fire one more. Okay, that's a bounce. I'm going to aim a little bit to the left. Our tank is flat on. Blade is directly in front. We're slightly on. Okay. Goodbye. That angle that just got <laughs> penetrated. Well, let's bring everyone back. Let's take a look here. Okay, so flat on with our update. This is flat on. Okay, that's uh, 314 millimeters of effective armor. We're going to do a slight angle to where Blade was in the red. 444 millimeters thick. <laughs> I'm a little upset right now. Ah, that was an easy pin. Yeah, and then if we raise the tank... But we're flat on. We're flat on. We're flat on. Flat land. Flat land. 438 to 440 millimeters of effective armor. And it just got ripped through like it was paper. Well, um, I can definitely say that uh, Tanks GG almost feels completely unreliable. And that my skill as a player feels like it's lacking. Because armor apparently doesn't mean anything right now in the E50. Um... Yeah, I'm going to send this in the Wargaming, and this is going to be my complaint. By the way, this is update. We're going to come back. 1.16. Okay, this is 1.16. Now, let's come up to the most recent update that they did for the E50. We're going to come right here. Take a look at the front. This is flat on. That's 490 millimeters of effective armor. We're going to angle it to the same angle. 1,000, okay? They did this for a reason on the E50. Flat on. Should be a bounce. Guaranteed bounce every single time flat on. Okay. Whenever you're looking at it from the front. But with 6.0 getting dropped and 6.0 getting dropped, we're going to come back down to, let's say 1.5. Okay, 1.5. We're going to come right here. Thing is, we know that heat rounds can go through 440 millimeters, 400 millimeters of armor with only 340 heat pin. Uh, the Yagaru has a 420 heat round. The Object 268 version 5 has a 395 heat round. They don't bounce. Ever. Ever. If they hit the armor just right. So, um, yeah. The, this needs to get fixed. And this needs to get fixed bad. Uh, so, I enjoy this knowledge, guys. Because I know I enjoyed this knowledge. And knowing that it sucks. Other than that... Have fun.